the gradual adjustment that we we want to make in understanding the mind body and how it experiences the world is that we we have to own it it's arising from within us and the great news of that is that if it's arising within us we can control it we can work with it so how do we shift it we shift it first of all by making that adjustment understanding that I'm seeing my own mind mm -hmm. in whatever stress situation I'm seeing. I'm seeing my own mind. My mind is telling me to be stressed about this. My mind is telling me a story a responding to the external and triggering a stress response Yes, because of previous experience with this very same, same stimulus stimulus out there, uh, whether it's in my lifetime or genetically, we all have those, you know, the fight, flight, or freeze response that coded in us yeah. genetically. So we are going to have those responses automatically. And then we decide what creates those responses. Very much what, so. You know, we decide. Uh, and, and for us, I think a lot of people think, well, the what you said before is that we're we're not really in survival anymore. We're not really worried on a deep level of, about someone killing us. I mean, there are cir circumstances where we, mm -hmm. we maybe we've had that experience, but for most part, we're not worried about that. But most of the, I think we're worried about is social shame mm -hmm. and rejection. And I think that is what causes a stress. We may think it's about money. If I pay, don't pay my bills, if my boss is not nice, or I'm going to be alone, you know, this, um, no one's going to love me. It's the shame of who we are. And that kind of like, I need to fit in with everyone. I need to look good. I need to have this persona mm -hmm. to, um, to feel safe. And that those assumptions that we made are, are when you say the cause is within us, we're the one who are, de are deciding that there's some yeah. people that it doesn't bother them. So how could we say that everyone feels the same way? Everyone doesn't like that one boss or doesn't feel appreciated by that one boss. It's what about you? Like what, how are you relating and your self uh, assessment is mm -hmm. all about um, preserving that, that kind of self worth. That's right. Uh, and so we're dealing with it, three elements mm -hmm. thought, which is kind of the analytical interpretation of what's going on mm -hmm. like we we create a narrative uh, a structure to the situation mm -hmm. so in with the boss situation i might say um the boss is not acknowledging my needs mm -hmm. or my voice or he's gonna fire me so i gotta be on guard and stressed out he doesn't like me right uh emotion which is the anger or frustration in, of the situation mm -hmm. that is really tapping into previous um, conditioned reactions that we've had in similar situations. Mm -hmm. So it might go back to the way I experienced my father mm -hmm. and the frustration that I had with him overriding my voice or my desires mm -hmm. and me having to, with, to repress those emotions. Mm -hmm. Now they're coming out and they're playing into the situation. So thought, emotion, and behavior. What am I doing? You know, what action am I taking? Am I not able to set the boundaries that I need to set? I need to speak am up. I, I need to fight this person. Am I going to the bar immediately mm -hmm. when I'm stressed by the situation and drinking myself silly? What am I doing? Am I avoiding confrontation? Mm -hmm. Do I tell my other friends about how I hate the boss but never tell the boss directly? Like, let me tell you how I feel. Passive aggressive, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is there, there's a mechanism in our mind that's called the witness mind. So the witness mind is the one that is able to observe our own thoughts, emotions, and behaviors mm -hmm. and assess the situation from a neutral perspective. It's the witness mind. It's it's not a participating mind. It's not ju a judging it's, mind. It's not a judging mind. It's simply witnessing, observing. That is going to give you the power to manage any stressful situation. Now, it does require some practice, of course, like mm -hmm. any new skill. 
we're not used to using that witness mind. We're used to reacting and wanting to fix the situation externally. Mm -hmm. Moving Again, chess pieces around. Yeah, we're misperceiving the situation and, and acting out of that misperception. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not saying not to take action. Of course, we need to take action in whatever situation we're doing, but we we're going to take the action from that higher perspective, from understanding it through the wisdom mind, through mm -hmm. the observation of the, the witness mind.